All right, I'm going to go to a lot of your calls now. I want to get to a bunch of them, but just, boom, get your questions out. We'll try to get you the answers or or, or, or your points. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. Two things I want to hit first. Uh, one is this FEMA coffin story, now confirmed at Infowars.com with the CDC. We always said, why are the coffins there by the CDC? You know, why did they attack us when we covered it? Well, now we know. And the media would make it about the poor folks that owned the property they were stored on, like, like we were blaming them. No, we weren't. We were just pointing out what these were being used for and, what, and why the CDC was storing them. But before we go there, um, they've had different media organizations and MSNBC come out and say that it's racist to call Ebola Obola. And I've been saying that for weeks. You know, the term Ebola, many other people have. We're also seeing pop-up bumper stickers and signs that say Ebola. Uh, Ebola, but with the Obama symbol in the middle of the O. Well, we've come out with a $7,500 contest. It's going to be an accelerated contest, only two weeks long, then one week to judge. Usually I take months. You, you know, you get a month to do it and a month to judge. We're announcing it today. It'll The contest will end in two weeks, and we'll have the winner on Halloween. October 31st, first place $5,000, second place $200, third place uh, $500. But everybody wins because you go print off the posters we've made or make your own poster exposing the false politically correct deity Obama, exposing collectivism, exposing the open border, whatever spectrum of that you want. Use our posters, make your posters, <clears throat> send us your posters. We'll post them on Facebook and Twitter and places. It's about showing the power of the people. We've done some of these contests that have become huge national news stories. They've all been very successful. And what you do is you shoot video of it, and then you put it on YouTube. We link to the different videos. People watch them by the millions. You know, big videos get seen a million times, small ones, 5,000. So what? That's a big deal. You go out, you get involved, you hang posters in legal and awful areas. It could be on your own barn, your own business, or a commons area you know, where they ha hang rock and roll posters or church posters or, you know, dog show posters and nobody cares. But then when you do, they'll go, ah, it's horrible, man, and arrest them just to show how they want to violate free speech. When that happens and the local news covers it, then they try to shut down free speech. More people do it. It backfires on them. So, Obola, and, and we'll do a document cam shot and show people here, two of the posters, we have the files up on Infowars.com. Uh, in the article on the homepage that we're going to tweet out right now and post to Facebook. Um, in fact, I saw them with the contest page about an hour ago, so I don't see it on Infowars.com yet. So we'll get that up on Infowars.com right now, or I guess it's not in the featured news area, uh, or maybe it hasn't cached yet off the cache into my uh, my computer. But just we'll get it in the features, top story, this contest, uh, and I'm going to give folks the headline on the article right now. Pound signed Ebola contest. Tyranny is the disease. Get engaged in the battle against tyranny with InfoWars' latest $7,500 contest. Ebola uh, is uh, racist to criticize that they're leaving our borders wide open. Tell him to halt flights from Ebola stricken hot zones. Close the open borders. Download our posters or make your own. Shoot video of yourself. Posting in lawful places, first place 5,000, right down to 500, third place. Submit entries by Friday, October 24th. I will announce the winners on the show on All Saints Eve, I guess you'd call it, or All Hallows Eve, Halloween, October 31st. And again, then we'll dole out and post the videos to InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We're going to tweet this out, that Ebola is a disease. Right now, with a link to the article at Real Alex Jones, please retweet it. And then again, the big glossy posters are a great way. Pound tyranny is the disease. Hashtag tyranny is the disease. Make that trend. Help expose it. And then it says secure the open border, Infowars.com. And on the top, blasphemy against what Jamie Foxx says is Lord and Savior. Obola, Obama, halt flights from hot zones now. You want to get a campaign? So even if they let this spread, if this got big enough, they might back off and do something about Ebola or, or Ebola, excuse me. Because, again, they want to just do this and not have us pay attention. You heard Michael Savage saying Ebola could be the way to bring them down. Stuff like this can capture people's attention. Get involved. Get this out to everybody you know right now.
And again, we'll take this live video, what I'm talking about here on the radio. We'll edit it down today, have it on the nightly news, put that out as a viral video over the weekend to Infowars.com. Help stop the spread of Ebola, or Ebola as it's uh, also known. Uh, this is how we counter their tyranny. So get these posters, get them out. Don't procrastinate. You can win the contest, but regardless, you win by taking action. Dr. Group, what do you think of this contest? Well, I think it's a great contest. I think as many people, I mean, that listen to the show should get involved in it. And uh, it's just like that's what we do every single day is answer questions about and tell people how to get involved at, you know, stopping this. I agree with Michael Savage, actually, because, you know, this could be the takedown of the globalists. I mean, look at the military they're sending in. What surprises me is that the, the, the military personnel they sent in to Africa – did so with no resistance, uh, you know. Well, we don't even know that. They wouldn't tell us. Yeah, if I was in the military and they tried to send me into a hot Ebola zone, I don't know if I would. And I'd you were in Army Special Marshall. Operations. You would have said no? Uh, well, I was pretty brainwashed back then, so I don't know what I would have done, but I, I would definitely say no now, that's for sure. I mean, I get military personnel calling me all the time saying that, you know, that have problems. I've got a guy in Houston that's breaking out in all these weird rashes and all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, they use them as guinea pigs. You know, so, uh, so yeah, I would, you know, get as many people that can get involved and start telling people the truth about Ebola and what's yeah, going on. Yeah, I mean, I almost don't even want to offer money in the contest, but that makes it fun. This isn't fun. It's war. In fact, I'm going to go out Monday uh, or maybe even today, uh, and I'm going to hang up a bunch of these posters around town, you know, as a promo video for this. But it's about you taking action and, and, and tying the president who's leaving the borders open and letting the flights come in to the Ebola so they get the blame. They may back off if they see that you're giving pushback. But if we lay there like jellyfish, they'll walk all over us. New story up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. CDC mandates hermetically sealed caskets for Ebola victims. Revelation follows report of CDC storing thousands of airtight coffin liners in Georgia. The CDC has instructed funeral homes to bury Ebola victims in hermetically sealed caskets. That's what we told folks five years ago. A potentially disturbing revelation given reports the federal agency had previously purchased thousands of airtight coffin liners which were being stored in Madison, Georgia, outside Atlanta. Uh, Yahoo News report reveals how the CDC is instructing funeral homes that remains should be cremated or buried promptly in a hermetically sealed casket, which must be secure against the escape of microorganisms and have valid documentation for being airtight. Dallas Institute of Funeral Services Administrator Wayne uh, Cavender said the CDC is worried about an epidemic, but the type of caskets they were recommending were not airtight. These in Georgia are, ladies and gentlemen, and you've got more from your sources. They're calling them a cremation box, right? They're calling them multifunctional cremation containers, and there's actually a patent on that. You can probably bring it up. There was, uh, uh, it was, a, I can't remember what year it was patented in. I think it was in the. There it is, multifunctional cremation container. Uh, and for cadaver, and it breaks it down, uh, U.S. patent number uh, 08-069, comma, 980, 1995. Yeah, the thing with Ebola patients is when, whenever they start getting close to death, though, it's the violent diarrhea, the violent vomiting, and the... And the, and the, the violent fluids. Rachel Maddow. We don't call, <laughs> we don't talk about bloody diarrhea. It's called, it's called a Rachel Maddow. <laughs> They have violent Rachel Maddow. Right. So, I mean, if you think about really how to contain it, it would be almost to the point where you would have, before the patients get to the point where they're uncontrollably bleeding. Before they go to uncontrollable Michael Moore. They really need to be killed, like, before, you know, this is what they're saying, is they need to be put in some sort of a casket or possibly quarantined or in some sort of a room with other people because that's when it really becomes a problem is towards the end when they're losing body fluids everywhere. So... You know, the reports... Hey, they say let everybody in. How about we send all the Ebola patients to the White House? Well, there, you know, there you go. I mean, who knows what the White House is... You know, the, obvious, the White House isn't doing anything. I mean, Obama's holding meetings with all the the uh, African leaders and everything right now or up at uh, Martha's Vineyard for a long time. It's just like they don't care what's going on, obviously. They're not out there talking about it. And, you know, the organizations that are supposed to be holding the quarantines and helping people out aren't doing anything about it. It's all about fast-tracking vaccines and having something ready by the first of the year. So, I mean, you know, you know the predictions. I mean, they're, they're, they're predicting that in January there could be one over a million cases of Ebola 1. in 4, Africa. 1.4, yeah. Yeah, 1.4 million five. cases. So, you know, it's just more of a reason to 
start taking responsibility for your own health. Start cleaning yourself out. Start. I totally agree. Let's uh, let's go to calls now. I've been hogging the time here, ladies and gentlemen. Real fast. Ask your other questions, Peter from Washington. Okay. Uh, this this product I won't tell the brand is mitochondria energy optimizer, and they keep uh, bringing in new ingredients. The question I have: they they do have bio PQQ there. Is 10 mg's enough daily? Well, yes. I mean, what we've done with the DNA force is we've taken all the, we've already done 15 years of research on what the best anti, you know, graceful aging supplements are, stuff that are going to protect the root cause of aging. See, companies out there are, you know, you might be addressing one thing, you might be addressing another thing, but what we're doing is addressing why the telomeres are shortening why the, the cells are, are replicating faster than normal. And all that is due to too many toxic chemicals that are surrounding the cell and the extracellular fluid or chemicals that are getting inside the cell. So our approach is, you know, the, and, and we have the BioPQQ and the DNA force, is to address the root cause of cellular damage. And the root cause of cellular damage is too much too many chemicals and too many free radicals, and that's why the antioxidant levels are there. That's why BioPQQ has been proven in clinical trials to help uh, stimulate nerve growth factor. Stimulate that's why. That's why myself and others, if you have damaged nerves, my torn Achilles, a hand that's been broken, a finger that's been chopped off, I noticed when I started taking it, those areas got numb, and then the feeling came back more. And then in my Achilles, it's now like electrical, and some of the feeling came back, but it's frankly quite weird and scares some people and i get why this is psychoactive this 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 is real nutraceutical i mean we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get the stuff that goes in it they have to like sign deals with mishibishi and everything i mean this is not a game this is the real deal it's the real deal and i don't know what product you're talking about but i mean it's it's not about just one ingredient either it's about combining six or seven or eight or nine proven ingredients that all work coq10 uh, it just Resver trans resveratrol i mean look there's there's probably 20 different types of resveratrol out there but there's only one 99% pure trans resveratrol you know it's, it's like our bio uh, PQQ and all this. Th this is organic. This is the, um, the you know the manufactured America source. Right. I mean, this is all of the ingredients that go into this product. DNA Force, especially, have you know years and years of clinical studies and research behind them. So they those all are all linked together. on InfoWarsLife.com. In fact, to be technical, people should go there and read what's patented. It, what we are allowed to say. No, other people don't aren't allowed to say this because the, they don't have this stuff. This, this is real stuff. Uh, thank you so much. We got to move quicker through the calls, folks. Chris in Mass, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, advocate some of the products that. Uh um, that have really worked for me. I'm a professional musician. I sing and, and uh, play guitar and gig out all the time. And since uh, you had Dr. Wallach on the show and some of the longevity products like Tangy Tangerine, I haven't had a cold in, in like two years. And, uh, you know, it's just tremendously helped me. You know, not only that, I used to get heartburn, uh, acid reflux all the time. And, and uh, through listening to Dr. Wallach and, uh, you know, using... Uh, digestive enzymes probiotics and now the the oxy powder is really pretty much cured cured that for myself so i just and it's real simple you know wallach and the organic beyond tangy tangerine 2.0 from infowarshealth.com you know he's saying you need 90 things uh, trace elements and minerals and vitamins well the government's saying only a few uh, like we're a plant or something and so of course stuff like that it is just so incredibly health uh, i mean it's been life-changing for me that the uh, the iodine I'll, to, to give you a funny story I used to have in a I don't know ever since I started taking uh, the iodine I had this I play guitar and I had used to have this embarrassing wart on my middle finger um, that I could not get rid of uh, whether I try to freeze it off or or whatever and uh, since I started taking the iodine it just the thing just magically disappeared I mean it, my immune system is just so much better. Well, look, I mean, if I'm no doctor or scientist, but from all the literature I've, I've read, it's simple. If there's basic deficiencies, if you don't have oxygen, you die. Uh, if you don't have vitamin C, you get scurvy and die. Even if you don't have iodine, you will die. And they just keep lowering the level of what you need until someday, I guess, the FDA will say zero, and it'll be a thought crime if you say you need it. And this is not rocket science, what we promote here. We just promote what we believe is the purest, most powerful, ancient source, crystal source, when everything else is seaweed source. Look, the other stuff that we, and it's great, 
does it turn into a gas in a Petri dish on a hot plate? The stuff we use is so pure, it 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 it's not called aerosolizing. What's it called when something gases? It's called sublimation. Yes. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it looks like a purple ghost or something. I mean, this stuff just goes into your body. I mean, I don't want to go into details here, but what came out of my skin? Uh, I mean, I wasn't tanning before. I was just burning. Now I get really good tans, less sun. And, and now it doesn't happen anymore because I guess I've detoxed. Just stuff just poured out of my skin. Well, iodine's used for every single cell in the body. And it's, you know, it's your skin, your endocrine system, your neurological system, all, any type of cysts. It's, you know, when you're... When you take away, the, the big thing is with extra, extra iodine is it blocks the absorption of the harmful halogens like chlorine, fluoride, and bromine. So really what you're doing is uh, hopefully, you know. So you're not just getting what you need. You're blocking the bad stuff. Exactly. I mean, hopefully everybody's learned enough by listening to your show to avoid fluoridated water. Sometimes you can't, though. I mean, look, all the drinks out there, too, you know, the, the colas and stuff, those are all made with fluoridated water. There's so many other sources. A lot of, of foods fluoride. have it added. Chlorine is out there. The bromine is out there in breads. I mean, if you eat at a restaurant, you're going to get fluoridated water. Look, go to any coffee shop in the United States right now. You know, I'm not saying any names, but you know the most popular ones. They use tap water to brew all their coffee. So when you go in for your latte or whatever, your venti or your, you know, whatever, all you're doing is, you, number one, you're taking the coffee beans, which are heavily sprayed by pesticides, and so you're getting pesticides, and then you're getting the tap water in your system. So by you taking the a proactive approach of doing this is what, what we're trying to get all, you know, people to do. Take a proactive approach. Listen, to I set about to find out what is the hiding in plain view, most powerful stuff that they don't want people to know about and understand, but that the elite are taking. And that's what InfoWarsLife.com products are about. 888-253-3139. And, you know, a couple times a month, we do, we cover news, but also cover some of these products in depth because that's how we're funding the whole platform to promote Rand Paul and to promote the Second Amendment and to promote controlling our borders and to promote sovereignty and to promote free market is we're sharing with you things that we really believe in and are powerful. I'm going to do a segment of Overdrive, too, because I want to get to everybody. Evan, Lucy, uh, Carolyn, John, and others. We got Carolyn's a retired nurse. We got John on high fructose corn syrup. Lucy wants to know about Dr. Group uh, and, uh, you know, natural ideas. Uh, Evan's up next, has a question on Ebola. I'm glad because that's mainly what I meant when I opened the phones up for you. Everybody's talking about the products. That was not intentional. Uh, but thank you for the nice reviews, callers. Uh, Infowarslife.com. I really changed my life. I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, in studio, back tonight, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWars Nightly News, with the rest of the crew. Evan in Arizona, you're on the air with Dr. Group. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. First time caller. I just want to say I appreciate your show very much. Appreciate you. Uh, I, am less, I am less afraid of Ebola. I am more afraid of the government response to Ebola. I agree. Uh, and, and kicking down our doors and hauling us off to the FEMA camps, by the way, of which... I just discovered or heard that we have another FEMA camp that I was unaware of just just south of Phoenix here. And, you know, we have a lot of FEMA camps here in Arizona. So that that is scary. And, by the way, when I, when I speak to you, I spoke to a couple of federal agents over the weekend, and they, they get it. Most of the people I talk about, I tell them we're living, living in pre-Nazi Germany uh, or pre-World War II Germany. Well, that's the thing. I'm always over the years bashing the feds and people. Uh, and never really the military, but they were training them to take us on. But it was that training that woke them up. Cops, feds, and the military going in the order of military cops and then feds. Feds not so much. They're more brainwashed and on power trips. But a lot of them, compared to the public, they're more awake. Dr. Group, isn't that exciting? Listen, when all of the, you know, the federal, the high-level federal agents and even people in parliament and the royal family in Europe, they all know and they come— I know because they some of them call me. I actually had people in the royal family fly to my office that had cancer under strict confidentiality uh, to get treated, you know, to do the stuff that we were doing when we had our before our cancer clinic got raided. Well, that so, even leaked out in the news later down in Houston. I remember. Yeah, it did, and uh, I mean, I mean, you could pull up I mean, the the cases the FDA that have tried to you know attack me. What's well, on record that Hollywood me. stars plug your oxy powder? Right. I mean, you're a big, right, you're a right. successful guy. Right. And they, you know, high level military. I've had people from, you know, organizations that aren't even listed, black ops stuff, uh, 
come to me for broken bones. I had people when I had my clinic, uh, CIA, CIA, FBI training facilities that would come to me for high tech treatments when they, you know, broke their arm, they needed to heal it within a certain, you know, two weeks or whatever. So no, they know the high level officials, they know where to go and it's not the hospital. I mean, you know, they know that the, they know what's going on with the medical system. They know what's going on with the pharmaceuticals. They know, now, uh, if they have some sort of uh, a lot of times with acute injuries, emergency situations, our hospital. Anyways, I was rude. That's but a great point. But anyway. caller, what was your other point? I apologize. Yes, I, I have a specific question for Dr. Group. Actually, two questions. Dr. Group, I have my family uh, oil of oregano. Uh, in fact, I just placed another another order for Survival Shield today and uh, colloidal silver at, at 240 parts per million. I've got uh, uh, boys, elementary school age. And, of course, my wife and I, can you make a recommendation as to what dosage amount I should be giving my family of those three items uh, in preparation for, for something so virulent as Ebola? And also, second question, I've heard the N N95 mask won't protect us from Ebola. So what should we be using as a mask? Well, you know, that's that's the million-dollar question right there. Um they have a recommended mask. I forget the name of it. It's one with a bubble over your face. Yeah, it's it's a it's a biological filtration mask. And uh, from what I've heard, there's you know there's some people are selling on eBay and Amazon. Uh, you might be able to pick some up uh, there. Some of the military style masks. Uh, do I think you know is that really going to protect you? I think it's going to be better to get in a forest somewhere where there's high oxygen levels that the the virus can't survive. As far as the, your, your questions about dosages, I'm not really allowed to talk about dosages. Uh, but one thing I do for oregano oil that I've found uh, really kicks in your immune system is about nine drops All three right. times a day. Nine drops three times a day. Thank you so much, uh, Evan. We're going to come back and take a few more calls in overdrive. I want to thank all of our affiliates and sponsors and listeners and the good Lord above and the crew with Dr. Group. Martin Armstrong warns a Mad Max event is possible. We have a great convergence coming. Zero Hedge at Infowars.com right now. I think we can punch that article up on screen for folks. Jam in a few final calls. Quick question, Lucy. Thanks for holding her on the air with Dr. Group. All right. Lucy's gone. Let's talk to Carolyn in Tennessee. You're on the air, retired nurse. Yeah. Hi, Alex. Hi. Can you hear me on my speaker? I can change to non-speaker. Well, whatever, just go ahead. <laughs> oh, you can hear me? Okay. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've gone into a room two or three days, and then after that they tell me the patient's got tuberculosis and we need to use a mask. You know, the people don't have to be admitted with a diagnosis of Ebola. They could be admitted with a diagnosis of something else. Yes. The nurses are going to be going in and out of those hospitals and taking that with them. And then I'm wondering, they don't like it when we call in sick. They don't like it one little bit. So they're going to want you to come in anyway. And so you're coming in and out. Now, what, when it gets really bad, are they going to start forcing the nurses and the other staff to stay in that hospital? Are they going to say, no, you can't leave? They they will definitely uh, require the healthcare workers to get vaccinated with the new Ebola vaccine. There's no doubt about that. I mean, but the thing is that it, you bring up a good point because that's another a subject we talked about uh, at these meetings I was at this week. There are healthcare workers, registered nurses, nurses, everybody in the hospital that have been calling for training. They feel like they're not being trained. They haven't been trained on how to deal with this, how to protect themselves, how to deal with potential patients that are coming in. And they're calling um, the CDC and getting together and trying to round up training because here you have the potential for a pandemic and you have healthcare workers. First of all, like we said, four hospitals, which are really, you know, trained to handle this type in, of in thing. A, uh -huh. And now you have all these healthcare workers all over the United States and all over the world that haven't been trained on how to handle. Well, here's another Ebola. point that just hit me. If they'd have shut down flights from West Africa a month and a half ago, like England did in France, this guy would never have got here. Right. I mean, it just shows they know the default position would have stopped this, but they don't care. The question is why. God bless you, man. Appreciate your call. Only got time for one more. Uh, Jennifer, sorry to Dave and Bill. Uh, let's go ahead. Well, I might get to Dave, too, but Jennifer, real fast. Go ahead. 
Um, my question was um, Dr. Group's uh, thought on diatomaceous earth. Uh, diatomaceous earth is great. I've used it for uh, as long as I can remember. I've given it to my pets. It helps. You know, I've never given my pets any type of heartworm medication or anything like that. Those are the, that's the skeletons of diatoms. Yes. Now, it's just important on where you get it. I use Permagard. I mean, they're OMRI listed. It's a good company. And, uh, yes, I have used it internally. It's, it's great for specifically worms. But uh, it also helps uh, clean out your system. I right, got to jump real fast. Thank you, Dave in Florida. Last caller, go ahead. Hi, Alex. Uh, I hope you're doing well. It seems you're doing well. I have a question for Dr. Edward Group first uh, regarding the super male vitality. Um, if you can just give me a quick, you know, maybe a one paragraph explanation on uh, why a young male like myself at 25 uh, would be interested or should be interested in taking. Uh, a supplement uh, like this. Well, there's so many estrogen mimickers out there already that uh, that you may not know. I mean, you won't know till you take it. But I would challenge you to get some. It supports the broadcast regardless. And I just took some more when you mentioned it. Because let me tell you, I notice it when I don't take it. Uh, especially in the morning. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dr. Grimm. <laughs> it just really depends on what you're exposed to and what you have been exposed to for your whole life. You know, we start really seeing a hormone decrease in men right around 25 to 28 years old. You start seeing your testosterone levels go down, DHEA levels go down, your growth hormone levels go down. So, and at the same time, we're exposed to all these phytoestrogens and we're in an estrogen dominant age. Hey, sorry, so out of time. Dr. Group, thanks for spending two hours with us. Great job, great job of the crew. If you want, uh, welcome on the nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock. But thank you so much for your time. Pray for America, pray for Africa, pray for the world, for peace and for this Ebola uh, epidemic to stop. God bless you all. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. Today I'd like to talk about the war on women. You've experienced and heard about the benefits of super male vitality. Now, the new formula has arrived. Introducing the new Super Female Vitality. I have specifically designed this formula to help the body naturally regulate itself without the use of artificial hormones. Key ingredients chosen from the highest quality sources. Each of these ingredients works synergistically with the female body in order to maximize overall vitality. You've heard the reviews and the feedback on how the original super male vitality has revitalized relationships. Now, both the man and the woman can have the revitalization in their own bodies with super male vitality and super female vitality. Secure your super female vitality today from our limited stock at InfoWarsLife.com.